from the first lesson we learned how to play the C F and G chord with their inversions now we want to play a simple chord progression of chord C to F to G and back to C chord C F and chord G back to C now this is a simple chord progression which I've just played in the root position this is the root position for C it's called the root position because C is the first note of the chord and F G back to C most songs fall in this um, chord progression and if you see that I am jumping so much from C to F to G just a little jump then back to C Now the next thing I would like to show you is how to play this same chord progression without having to move too much on the piano. C E G. My next chord is called F. Coincidentally, C is part of chord F. So I'll keep this note, then I'll have to move these two notes to form the rest part of chord F. I'll move my E to F. I move my G to A. And there you are, we have chord F. Chord C. Chord F. You notice that I've played the second inversion of chord F root position of chord C second inversion of chord F the next chord is G I'll move this to D I'll move this to G I'll move this to B and I am playing the second inversion of chord G second inversion of chord F second inversion of chord G I'll retain this G because I'm going to C and chord C has got G in it so I'll keep this G I'll move this D to E and I'll move this B to C so from chord G I've only had two movements D to E B to C you notice that I've had little movement now let me just demonstrate that again C F G C That's one way. I would like to show you the second way of playing the same chord progression, starting with the first inversion of chord C. That's the first inversion of chord C. I'll go to root position of F because this C is there. I'll just move to F, move this G to A. So C first inversion F in the root position then I go to G which is just the next door neighbor to F then for me to play my C which is the last chord in the progression I'll keep this G move this B this way and move the D to E
the third and the last way that I would like to show you in this tutorial is by playing the second inversion of C. G, C, E. And I'm going to chord F. I'll keep my C, move my G, and move my E. So I have this. The third chord is called G. I'm just going to be D G. Now for me to play my C, I've got this G. I just need to move two notes. Move these two notes. B and D. And move it to C and E. I'll play the progression without interruption now. <laughs> 